welcome back to Paper Therapy with Amy. You may recognize this layout as one I made back in January, and I'll link the video down below. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to print the photos for this layout on my Canon selfie. So I have these pictures planned out for here. This is how they come out of the Canon selfie, so I'm going to show you how I print them the right size. So this one's going here. Now I don't want to waste any of this, and this picture is like this. So there's a whole bunch here and I don't want that to go to waste. Otherwise it's just blank. And with the Canon selfie, you can't print it later on. It's you're done when once you print this out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going to my image. Here's my image. Um, I'm going to pick a different one because I've done that one already. Let's do this one. So I want to um, make this a square so it fits on one of these squares. So what I'm gonna do is hit edit, then I'm gonna go to crop, and I'm gonna go to the size of the crop so that I'm gonna hit square. Now I gotta pick which part of the image I want on there because it can slide. So I'm gonna go right to the bottom so you can see those clouds in the background. Now this is very blue and kind of hazy so I wanna fix that. So I'm gonna go here. Sometimes I try the auto it makes it quite blue. Another thing is the horizon is kind of tilted on this picture. So that can be done under straighten. So I just turn it so that um, you see this, this grid pattern. I want the horizon along this one and I want to turn it until um, it looks like it's straight along there. So that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more because of those clouds. And that looks good to me so I'm gonna um, go out of there I'm gonna go back to here so I hit auto but I don't I think it could use a little more brightness especially because the Canon selfie prints um, them dark so I I jacked up that exposure a little bit then we're gonna maybe jack up the brightness a little bit um, the black point can be a really helpful one so it's already cranked up um, with the auto when I hit auto um, adjust it already cranked it up so that's what the black point does it makes all the black things look crisper more crisp <laughs> um, and I could change the tint because it's very blue but it's a blue layout so I think that'll look good on there um, looks pretty good to me the other one there's brightness and that's brightness there was one more brilliance yeah you can turn up brilliance sometimes too but I think it's I think it's pretty good where it was so then I'm I'm happy with that so I hit done and then I favorite it so that I can find it back later or you can put it in an album then I'm gonna go to the selfie app there's the selfie so um, this is the Canon selfie app so I'm gonna select, um, cause I don't wanna waste any of this space and I wanna make it a square, right? So then I'm gonna go down here and select combination layout and I'm gonna select this one with the square and I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm gonna go to smartphone and I'm gonna go to favorites and I'm gonna go all the way down <laughs> cause that's where it is. And this was the picture. So that's good, but I don't hit okay yet. I wanna go back and I'm gonna go to my Holland pictures cause I'm gonna make my cousin in Holland a little book. And I'm gonna print, because the book's little, I need to print wallet or little square pictures. So I'm, this one can be small. And let's say this one can be small. And I'm now I'm gonna hit okay. Now I want this picture here and that picture there. So I should be able to switch them. Yeah, like that. And I'm just gonna rotate that one so I can see it better. It doesn't really matter. And so I'm gonna shrink it down a touch, but I can't really shrink it down much more than that. And I will move it up so that our feet are kind of on it. I think that's good. Then I might go to, I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm gonna, you have to select the picture itself and ro um, do them all separately. So here I'm gonna um, do brightness, contrast and saturation all up one and see what I think. Uh, pretty good it still looks a little dull to me so maybe a little more saturation maybe brightness back down 
I think that's better. So I'm going to hit OK. Same thing here. Adjustment. Crank up that brightness one. I don't know. Maybe the brightness doesn't need to go up. They're, I know that the selfie really does make pictures quite... Um, they look a little washed out when you don't... So here too, I don't know if I want brightness up. Nope. That doesn't look any better. Contrast will and saturation will. I think that's pretty good. No, I don't like that brightness. Okay, so now I'm happy with how this looks. I want all those pictures. If you want a border and you want white around the pictures, you can do bordered, but I don't want that because I want as much picture as I can get. I don't want the white because I'm going to cut them out and I can put white around it myself. So I'm going to go borderless. Then I'm going to go um, close this. I'm going to go print preview. This is going to take me to a different app and just okay all the way through there. I'm going to say, yes, I want to use the selfie printer and then I'm gonna hit print. But before that, I'm gonna show you what you need to do on your printer. Okay, here's my printer. Here's that sun I was talking about the other day when it reflects off that, uh, the top of that tin. So that's why I need a bit of a diff light diffusing blind. Um, okay, so here is the selfie. Um, you might not be able to see the screen very good. I'll try to get in there so you can because of the light. Let's close the curtain a bit. There we go, that helps. Okay, so when you've adjusted your photo yourself, you do not want the selfie to do their auto adjust. And that is a factory setting. It is going to adjust your photos itself. So what you want to do is go to this one, the tools. So you need to navigate there with this. And then you're going to hit OK. Then we're going to go to printer settings. We're going to hit OK. Um, then we're going to go down to image optimize okay and you're going to make sure that's off it's going to be on i've already turned it off but it will be on if you every time you restart this printer it's going to be on so you want to turn it off if you've done your own photos because it might undo some of what you've done so then i'm going to go home and now i'm going to go to um print my photos so i'm going to go into my app and i'm going to hit So now my phone is communicating with the printer and it's going to print out my photos. Uh, it just slides it through three times. So it first does the yellow and then it does the magenta and then it does the blue. Those are your primary colors and those colors make up every other color. Then it will go through again and give it a coating on the top so that you can touch it right away and it's not going to be um, sticky or getting fingerprints on it. That coating can be done in a pattern, which makes it more of a matte finish. But I've noticed that when I use that coating in a matte finish, the pictures have even more of a curve to them. And I don't love the curve to start with. That's probably my biggest beef with this printer. So now I have my two smaller photos on the top that I can use on a different project and I haven't wasted that space. So here's the layout I'm putting photos on. Here's one of the photos is here and that's already cut. And then I have this one's already cut. And um, I do have to print, uh, I believe, a few more. But okay, so this one here I can cut. Um, I'm just going to cut it right along the line. Then I have these little wallet sizes to go in the little book I'm going to make for my cousin in Holland. So I have those. I'm just going to set them aside for later. But now I haven't wasted the the rest of this now there's the perforation there you see that so one thing i could have done is flipped the photo upside down if i would have had the photo flipped upside down i'm not sure if that's the water or if that's the printer no i think it's the water <laughs> anyways if i would have had the photo flipped under upside down this perforation would be in this like in the sky so that wouldn't matter so much but i'm not real concerned about it because i'm trimming these down anyway so I'm gonna go right along the perforation here. And then I'm gonna flip this way because I want them to be th three and three quarter by three and three quarter so I have a white trim 
um, that's already on the page. So there's three and three quarters. Take a little sky off. And there is three and three quarters. Oh. Take a little there. And that one can go there. This is before we left. It was like snowing and storming in Calgary. It was April. But I didn't really want to do this. It was a really far away through the window, airport window picture. So I didn't want to do it full sized. So I just put it on this side, even though it bothers me that I think the story should go like this. But alas, it doesn't. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do this one now. Again, you want to keep in mind that your pictures are not going to be four by six because the six goes right to the end, but the perforation's in the wrong spot. So this is where we go five and three quarters. And then it doesn't matter because then we have that little bit of extra. Now I like that little bit of horizon there. I think I'd rather take off the bottom. So I'm gonna go three and three quarters and take a little off there. And that one's gonna go there. So I just need to print off um, a couple more pictures and I'm gonna do that once again, um, giving myself, cause they're squares. I don't wanna waste that extra bit that's, that's on top, right? So I'm gonna print those, um, giving myself some extra squares and then I'll be right back. So I printed all my square photos using that method. So I now have a few little extras to use on a different project and I didn't have to waste that two inches of space on each of my photo papers. Uh, if you haven't seen the video when I made this layout, I will link it at the end of this video so you can watch it and hear the story behind it. It's kind of an interesting story. And uh, if you haven't hit like on this video, I would love it if you did that, that thumbs up button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet, because uh, if you like this video, you'll like all of my videos. I'm just gonna do a bit of journaling yet, and I'm gonna call this page done. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.